And just a week ago last Saturday evening, Minnesota finally passed the constitutional amendment defining marriage as one man, one woman. And so Minnesota is the first state that has decided this issue will be on the ballot in 2012. The state of New Hampshire, I understand, will be taking this issue up as well, and other states. This is the time, and so I want to encourage all of you at home, if you don't have a similar amendment, consider this in your home states. I believe this is the time to do it. So I just want to say thank you to those who have continued to carry that torch. We need to do this because how many of you know that, the marriage, that marriage is under siege like no time in recent history? Just recently in USA Today and in other magazines, um, we, we got the census data out that said that married couples have dropped below half of all American households for the first time according to the Census Bureau. It's a milestone in our nation's history. Do you know that back in 1950, 78% of all households represented a married couple, and today we're at 48%. That has created a profound difference in America. This year, my husband and I will be married 33 years, and I'm... You, you, you're clapping for the wrong person in our marriage. My, it's my husband who, des who deserves the lion's share of the credit for that. It does help, though, when you're, when you're married to a marriage and family therapist. I have to say, we do have an unfair advantage there. And I'm extremely grateful for this wonderful man. He's not only committed deeply to our marriage, but he's committed to our children. And we made a decision when we first got married. One of those decisions was, even though we didn't have a lot of money, we decided we would always live on just one income. We wouldn't be dependent on both of our incomes because we knew we both had broken hearts for at-risk children. I don't know what it was, but God put that on our heart. We had broken hearts for at-risk kids. We knew somehow we wanted to reach out and be a part of a solution for them. Along the way, God blessed us. We had five wonderful biological children. And then at a certain point, the Lord allowed us to bring 23 foster children into our home. And I'm happy to say all of our foster children successfully graduated from high school. They were launched into the world, and they're off in their various endeavors.